not bad for someone who's basically just effing around right now. <laughs> kind of surprised that no one's watching, honestly, because majority of the people that I send this to right now are currently either sleeping, because it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. So they're either sleeping, the people that I send it to are either sleeping, because those would be my family members, and anyone else that I send it to are working right now at work at Tesla. <laughs> That travel broadens the mind. Broadens the mind. No, it does not. <gasps> There's a page there. I told you. I forgot. trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you. Yes, he was. And that Just you give me a sec. Sorry, in Professor. Your endeavors. I'm not trying to insult Rebellion. you. Man. I just want this page. Hebridian Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after the single-handedly after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern wales during the great poacher raid of 1878 1878 damn woman how old are you <laughs> hey wait you guys how what year does hogwarts ex hogwarts legacy actually take place Like, in the game. The story in the game. What year does it take place? Because clearly this is obviously before Harry Potter's time. And this is even before uh, Newt Scamander. And I think even before... It's obviously before even Dumbledore. And Dumbledore's effing old. So, in the story, what year does this take place? Because literally 1878. The poacher raid of 1878. And she was alive. <laughs> Either she is like super, super, super old, or this takes place around the same time. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecket. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Incendio, should be, Professor. Yes, I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire I think is I'll a fickle servant. Play up Your until the library. Uh, we finished the library. Far, see, but please maintain focus. And then I would rather we not maybe? end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. So, because, like I said, um, focus on the proper wand movement. We learn in Sendio. We do a little bit of practice inside her office. Steady. I'm gonna talk to that Ravenclaw boy and get his side quest and then go back to Fig and we plan on going to the library and then do the library thing so it might go right around the two hour mark maybe a little over because I'm already an hour and seven minutes right now I don't know Incinerate yourself. Boom. Leviosa. Incendio. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? All right. So let's go to that guy. And then I'll go to Fig's classroom, talk to him. Record some stuff there. See, look, watch when I turn. He's gonna be there. The Ravenclaw kid. See? I Told wonder you. if you might be able to help me with a small... Duncan, uh, there you go. Project. Duncan Hobhouse. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure What's up, to meet Duncan? you. Nice to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I'm pretty damn humble with that shit, so I'm just gonna be humble here. I suppose it must seem that.
I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person Can I need. Can you hear me? Testing, testing. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine okay, you can hear unfortunately me. took yeah, the my shape controller of a, finally died. a puff scheme. <laughs> Like, it died, like, just spontaneously died. It didn't even give me a warning. It just, like, nope, dead. <laughs> so I had to, like, <laughs> rush over. Luckily, my little AKA Christmas tree of controllers here was, like, right next to me. So I literally just plugged in my um, dead controller and just grabbed the random one. Okay. So... From what you saw, Duncan was doing Bogarts and Professor Hecate's class, which is Defense Against the Dark Arts, if you guys remember. I was just there. And um, his Bogart, if you guys remember what Bogarts are, from the third movie and reading the third book, Bogarts are basically shapeshifters that take the form of what you fear the most. So if you went in front of a Bogart, you don't know what the actual, what the actual form of a Bogart looks like. Because no matter what, the moment you go anywhere near one, it'll take the form of what you fear the most. So no one knows what an actual Bogart looks like. But anyway, Duncan's is apparently scared of puff puffskins. If you guys don't remember what a puffskin is, you actually do see one in the Harry Potter movies. If I remember correctly, I think you see one in the sixth movie? Um, the Half-Blood Prince? Um, Ginny had one on her shoulder. Um, if I remember correctly, if you s if there's a scene where Ginny is talking to Dean Thomas on the Hogwarts Express and she has a puff skin on her shoulder. So if you want to look what a puff skin looks like, either look it up online on Google or even go watch, um, go to the scene on the Hogwarts Express with Ginny Weasley's talking to Dean Thomas. She has a puff skin on her shoulder. But anyway. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff skin? They're actually really they cute looking. adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. That Regardless part. of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff skins to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. It's kind of messed up, yo. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. In Thank my you. head, I'm probably laughing right Hobby now. Puff Skeen Dunkeen actually sounds funny. Puff Skeen my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway... To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Yeah, I can do that. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Speaking of fears, hang on, let me unmark this task, this quest. So, if you guys remember, in Hogwarts Legacy in general, it doesn't matter if it's the PlayStation 4, 5, or the Switch version, there is a mode called Arachnophobia Mode, because unfortunately you will unfortunately deal with spiders in Hogwarts Legacy, and there are some people that don't like spiders, so the devs pretty much put Arachnophobia Mode on this game, which I'm forever grateful for. And all four of my files on my Switch, I put <laughs> Arachnophobia mode on. And I'm, I'm double checking if I did the same here. Hang on. Okay, it's not there. Is this one? No. Is this one? There, see? Arachnophobia mode on. Okay. Swap out spider enemies with less frightening variants. This does not affect gameplay or difficulty. Good. It's on. 
<laughs> like, no, I'm not having spiders, yo. This is not funny. Like, I've hated spiders since I was a kid. That shit's just wrong in so many levels. I don't like seeing all these, like, check marks and all exclamation points and not ex check marks, exclamation points. I can't even talk. <laughs> it just bothers me. It feels like I'm like lazy and not checking my shit. <laughs> so I just like making sure I have everything looked at. You know what I mean? It's like annoying. You kind of feel like... You feel like you're lazy because you're not checking your shit, you know what I mean? And I'm not lazy. I do my work. So... Alright. you defending. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Okay, that was... The Blind Slytherin. Don't get too cocky simply there because is. you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from the fight. Why are you randomly sitting there, buddy? Ominous. Why are you just sitting there? <laughs> I know you're blind and all, but... It's so weird. But anyway. Oh yeah, see, another eyeball. My controller literally vibrated the moment I got close to it. And there it goes again. <laughs> Alright. Can't I get up there from here? I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no. One more. <laughs> I'm like, pretty sure I can get up from here. There it is. What? Oh yeah, the Merlin trials. That's what you saw earlier. They gave me a warning about. Okay, there's only one there. Oh, there's two there, but I don't want to get rid of these. I know they're not legendaries, but... They're cool looking! I might have to, though. Damn. Nothing there. Oh, that's a legendary! Damn, I might really have to get rid of those two. Shit. I'm nowhere near the the Merlin trials yet. Damn it. Why do I always have to wait for this dude? And every time I wait, I'm on the ground, watch. See? I'm on the ground! Ah, there you Why are. Why am I on the ground? I understand if it was nighttime and then you go into his office and click wait because it's nighttime. Fall asleep on the ground. That that's somewhat more believable. But this was daytime. <laughs> it's just I don't know. <laughs> Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with I like her the and graphic your other right professors here. to improve your skills. At least on that my said, character, I like it. I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall 